Hi students, in yesterday's class we have seen already about the thyroid gland so which is going to secrete the hormone called the thyroxine. So <clears throat> the functions of thyroxine already we have seen in the yesterday's class. So now let us see the one more gland that is the pancreas. So here already we have seen that on the basis of the characters of the ducted glands and ducted glands already we have divided that is the exocrine glands and endocrine glands. So here the pancreas is going to work as the both the glands because it is going to secrete the insulin as well as the pancreatic juice. So when we are going to see the location of this pancreas, so it is located just below the stomach. The pancreas is located just below the stomach and it is going to secrete the insulin as well as the pancreatic juice. So pancreatic juice is used in the process of digestion and here the hormone called the insulin that is going to play a very important role in our body. So here uh, the insulin is the hormone which is secreted by the pancreas. So the function of this insulin is it controls the rate of sugar in the blood the the rate of blood the rate, the rate of sugar is going to be controlled by this insulin hormone in the blood suppose this hormone is not going to produce in the proper manner or in the proper quantity so the blood sugar level uh, definitely increases so that abnormal condition of increasing the sugar level in the blood is considered as the diabetes. If the sugar level is going to increase in the blood, so that abnormal condition is called the diabetes. And the person who is going to suffer by the diabetes and he is considered as the diabetic patient. So here uh, the insulin is going to control the metabolism of sugar the insulin is going to control the metabolism of sugar if the proper quantity of the insulin is not going to produce that time the sugar level in the body will increase so the sugar level in the body will increase so this will be considered as the diabetes so always there will be somewhat level uh, sugar level will be there in our body so at that time we can see this uh, insulin is going to maintain so always uh, we whatever the food we are going to eat it contains the glucose sugar means not only the sugar so that is the form of uh, the glucose that we are going to eat so it is not going to it, it is not going to be utilized properly so it is going to waste and the person will get the maximum problems regarding this uh, disease so he will be suffered uh, by always uh, unknowingly the urine will pass itself and uh, sweating more and it will uh, uh, cause the weight loss. So this is, these are the symptoms of uh, what the diabetes and here the person will become very weak. Uh, and even by this abnormal condition maybe uh, death also takes place so to control uh, this kind this kind of disease or to improve uh, the immune system or to improve the insulin production in the body uh, we have to control the diet so the in the initial stage if the person is suffering from uh, this diabetes though so doctors will advise to take uh, less sugar in the uh, diet 
so in the food we have to eat very less sugar or the directly uh, we should not consume the sweet things and here we can uh, uh, control this uh, diabetes in the initial stage by doing uh, the phys physical exercise and controlling the diet as well as uh, uh, reducing the weight by the physical exercise uh, we can control this uh, disease but uh, if the condition is serious at that time we must have to take the injections of uh, the insulin so this is about uh, the very important one more gland that is called <coughs> the pancreas the pancreas is considered as the mixed type of gland that is uh, exocrine as well as the endocrine gland and it is going to produce the hormone called insulin so that controls the uh, blood sugar level and uh, here it control it, it works on the metabolism of sugar in the body so regarding the next uh, gland and its secretions as well as the productions uh, we will see that one in the next session thank you have a nice day